Amina. Asante sana. Asante sana. Amen. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Uh, na shukuru sana. Na kwanza ni wakaribishe wote kwa rancha wa yetu ya siku ya leo. Karibuni sana ambao mumefika kanisani. Bwana wetu awabariki sana. Na pia wengi ambao wanatufuata kwa mtandao. Karibuni sana. Na bwana wetu atatubariki. Amen. Amen. Uh, nichukue fursa hii kushukuru uongozi wa Ranchawa kwa sababu ya kunipa nafasi ya kulileta neno la Bwana kwa madhabahu haya uh, uongozi wote wa Ranchawa ambao wakiongozwa na awasini ya Pastor Reverend John Munyere na asanti sana kwa sababu ya hii nafasi siwezi ichukulia hivyo bure na sema ni asanti sana ni asanti kwa sababu ya kupa, uh, kusimama wenye madhabahu haya it is not uh, i don't take it for granted and so I say thank you. Na popote anapo fuata ibada hii. Uh, achukue hizo shukurani zangu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. So uh, ni wakaribisha wote. Ni endeleku wakaribisha sana. Kwa rancha wa siku ya leo. Ni siku ambayo bwana ametupea. Na ile kitu mzuri na njua. Ya kwamba. Ni kwamba mungu hawezi tuleta hivyo bure. Ame tuleta akiwa na neno letu. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Na ina, what happens when, when, uh, when God gather his people. Anaweza kuwa si watu wote ya nanenea. Lakini kuna mtu mmoja. Abaye bwana atamunenea. Amina. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo ninayo furaha ya Bwana na sana sana ninayo furaha ya wokovu ambayo Bwana ameweka ndani yangu na kwa hivyo ninashukuru sana na kwa sababu Bwana amekuwa mwema, amekuwa mwaminifu, nina sababu ya kumtukuza, nina sababu ya, ya kumuinua na kulinua jina lake. Amina. Uh, majina yangu ni Mosheru Patrick au uh, majina jina langu ni Mosheru Patrick nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana na nimeoa niko na mke mmoja na tunazidi kumtumikia Mungu pamoja na kwa sababu Mungu ametuita kwa hiyo kusudi ya kwamba we serve him all the days of our lives Bwana asifiwe sana and we are committed to serve this God because he is a great God Kunaro neno ambalo Bwana amenipa amenipea ambalo nataka tuligawane nanyi uh, siku ya leo na sana sana kwenye msimu huu ambao tuko nao wa prayer and fasting Bwana asifiwe sana we are in our 21 days of prayer and fasting uh, this being our 10th day na and the grace of God is sufficient Bwana asifiwe sana neema ya Mungu imekuwa nyingi sana kwenye maombi haya ambayo tumekuwa tukiaomba na Bwana ametu uh, ako pamoja nasi and uh, he, we, 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 we can attest that for the, for that uh, the, the past 10 days uh, God has been so faithful na tunaona akiyafanya mambo uh, miongoni mwetu na tunashuhudia na tunasema ya kwamba yeye ni Bwana na ataendelea pamoja Janasi has hadi tumalize siku ambazo zimebaki Bwana wetu asifiwe sana Haleluya uh, so nataka tu kuenda nitanena nita tu kwa kwenye tu uh, the, the, the topic of my of my message is that the prayer that brings results uh, the prayer that brings results ndio uh, nitataka kunena uh, kwa dakika ambazo niko nazo na Bwana atatubariki uh, nikitaka uh, when I uh, I divine uh, prayer uh, it simply means that prayer is a, a direct communication with the god or is a yeah it is a direct communication with the god ni ile tu unaongea na mungu hata kama humuoni ni ile tu unaongea direct kwake yani venye tu unaomba you are just addressing someone ama una you are addressing him direct bwana asifiwe sana it is not like the way i can make a call uh, you know uh, when i make a call to you yes naongea na wewe but katikati yangu kuna vi, katikati yangu na wewe kuna vitu mingi ambazo zinatumika kuna simu kuna 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 connection kuna kuna lazima kukuwe na network lazima nikuwe na credit uh, lazima nikuwe na na, na kukuwe na server so even if i have credit, it, even if my phone is uh, fully charged and then kukuwe na problem kwa server on the other side kwa safaricom uh, ata kama niko na pesa mingi haji za kukupigia si itaweza kukupigia uh, ama hatu itaweza kupatana lakini kwa mungu siyo hivo mungu uh, when we, we, we pray to him and we have rash, we are righteous before him and we are faithful and we have faith then when we pray to him and I ask his maombi yetu direct Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. 
So he hears direct our prayers, and so uh, it is good. So that's why we, 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 I can say all that prayer is a direct communication with God. We, you, you speak to him, you communicate with him directly. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Haipitishi mahali, hakuna mtu mwigine hati unampitishia, hatu ombi, ama hatu ongei na ye kupitia jina la mtu furani, apana tunaomba kwa ke direct. So we go to him direct. When you bow down, when you kneel down uh, to, to speak to God, uh, please be assured that you are speaking with him direct. So prayer is a direct communication with God. And so uh, when communicating with him, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. So we are for you to, to, to be able to, 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 to communicate with him. So in our communication, the way to nasema ya kwamba, ati kwa simu nazima kukue na credit. So no matter how smart your phone is, no matter ni ya pesa ngapi, as long as I na credit, Uwezi communicate na mwingine. Uwezi pigia mtu mwana asifiwe sana. Utateseka mtu mwingine akiwa pare ya nakugoja kwa sababu hauna credit. The same case applies to our prayer. Now, prayer we are to, for us to, to communicate with our God. For us to communicate with our Father, uh, we, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. Mwana wetu asifiwe sana. We are guided by Him and so He is the one who prays more for us. He understands us more. So what do we want to, 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 to present before God? Or, or the, the prayer item that you want to, to present before God. Even before you go to him, uh, you, 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 the Holy Spirit understands more. And he presented before God. Ata before kabra hutafika kwa mungu, the Holy Spirit anakuwa amesha he present kwa buwana. Buwana wetu asifiwe sana. So, when communicating with him, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. If you read in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse number 26, in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse number 26, the Bible says, for we do not know what we ought to pray, uh, but, uh -huh, for we do not know what we ought to pray, but the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with groans, uh -huh, that no words can express. Bwana asifiwe sana. So, ata tunapo, yes, ata tunapo eda kwa bwana, ata tunapo eda kwa mungu, uh, Biblia inaonyesha ya kwamba, tunapo eda kwa ke, ata hatujui sana, vile tunapaswa kuomba. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Ni kweli, maombi ni kuongea moja kwa moja na mungu. Lakini, iyo kuongea, hatujui, vile tunapaswa kuomba. Lakini, Biblia inasema ya kwamba, the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. Bwana asifiwe. It is the Holy Spirit who intercedes for us. So he understands us. He understands what we are presenting to God. So he takes it and he presents unto God. And at this idea, he intercedes for us in the presence of God. That's why the Bible says uh, that the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with the groans that it cannot be uh, expressed. There is no words that are suitable. We cannot find it suitable uh, to express uh, the groans uh, that, uh, that the Holy Spirit uh, groans uh, in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So uh, for us to have, uh, to, for uh, our prayers to, 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 to have a result, we have, number one, to be guided by the Holy Spirit. We have to, to there is no way we can pray without the Holy Spirit in our lives. We cannot pray without being filled with the Holy Spirit because he is the one who intercedes for us. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, in the book of, in, in, if you read in the book of uh, Genesis uh, 4, verse number 26, Genesis 4, verse number 26, the Bible says, When Seth grew up, he had a son and named him Enos. All that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. So, uh, another point that I have given uh, to that, it says that in all that you do, start with the prayer. In all that you do, start with the prayer. That's why 
4 verse 20, Genesis 26, uh, Genesis verse 26 of chapter number 4, that when Seth grew up, he had a son. So, and he named him Enos. All that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. That is prayer. And he had named him and uh -huh, he had named him Enos. And from that time, men began to call on the name of the Lord. So everything in all you do, it is good to start with the prayer. Amina. In all that you do, it is good to start with the prayer. And one thing I know, when you start with the prayer, it does not matter what is awaiting you ahead. When you pray, the prayer goes before you. Uh, prayer goes before you in a, in a clear way. It becomes easy for you to walk. Bwana asifiwe sana. It becomes easy for you to walk. Why? Because the, 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 the prayer or the way has been cleared by the prayer that you make. And so, uh -huh, uh, start everything or start everything with prayer. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Answer kwa maombi. Kila jambo, ata kama unaona ni gumu waje, ata kama ni kitu unaanza, ata kama ni biashara unaanza, start with prayer. It, is, it has not been recorded that when you start with the prayer, you will not, you will be defeated but, uh, along the way. It is known, it is it, nowhere it is recorded. All I know, and it is in the Bible, that when you start with the prayer, Victory is guaranteed. Bwana asifiwe sana. Something else I'm going to bring across is that uh -huh, uh, effective prayer, that is the prayer that brings result, go hand in hand with the faith. Bwana asifiwe. Aha, tumesema ya kwamba, lazima ukue unaongozwa na roho mtakatifu kitu ya pili ama jambo la pili uh, you have the prayer that effective prayer the prayer that will bring results you know ordinary prayers will just bring ordinary results bwana asifiwe so uh, but in this when you 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 pray extraordinary prayers expect extraordinary result and for you to get this result you have the, that prayer has to go hard in hard with the faith the bible says in the book of matthew chapter number 21 and verse number 22 matthew chapter 21 verse 22 and jesus answered them truly i say unto you if you have faith i do not doubt so number one if you have faith Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. So, uh, you know, godly things uh, are all, all, I can say that uh, the, the, the bank of God uh, is accessed, the, the, the ATM that, uh, that, is, that can access the, 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 the bank of God. It is faith. Bwana asifiwe sana. Or I can put it in a, in a simple way. I can, just, I can say this, uh, that uh, when you pray, Bwana asifiwe sana all, all when you want to access what God has for you, uh, number one, you must have faith. So if you pray and you don't have faith, it is like you are wasting your time. Ni kama haijarishi ni nini unafanya. Yaani ni kama inaonyesha vizuri hufahamu kile unafanya. Na kwa hivyo ni kama huamini hata maombi yenye unaomba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ni kama huamini kile unafanya. Na ndio Biblia inasema lazima ukue na imani. Bwana asifiwe sana. You should have Faith. That why Jesus is saying, and Jesus answered them. That is his disciples. And our kuambia. Truly, I say unto you, if you have faith, sana. 
if you have faith. So effective prayers, lazima number one, uh, na, tumesema na lazima ukue by that guided by the Holy Spirit. Number two, lazima ukue na imani na and, and ukue una doubt. Yani, you, you do not doubt. If you know, you, you cannot go before God and again you are doubting. So even in these days, in the prayer you have been praying, there is no way you can fast and then go to God and you are doubting. Uh, no, no, no. Someone said that if you, uh, that you cannot pray and worry at the same time. You cannot pray and worry. It is either you worry and you stop praying or you pray and stop praying. Uh, and most of the times, when you have an issue, ama kuna jambo ambalo tunataka mungu wa ingirie. The moment we, do, we have not prayed for it, huanga inatusubua. Unapata ya kwamba, kuna kitu inakusubua. Una kwa hivo, unasikia ukona uchungu, unasikia unaogopa. Lakini, wakati hujayombea, diyo maana una, una, unaogopa. But the moment you pray, Mwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hata kama Mungu hajajibu, unasikiaga umelax, unasikianga ka, ka amani kengine kameingia. So uh, kwa sababu gani? Usa, ukisha yombea, unajua ya kwamba imefika kwenye inafaa. So you have that in a peace. So that's why you cannot pray and worry at the same time. Yaani huwezi toka hapa, umetoka hapa kuomba na tena unaombea, tena ukitoka kwa murango, tena unaanza kwenda ukiogopa. Ni kama kuletea Mungu shida, una present kwa Okay, then you kitoka kwa mulago unaichukua tena unarudi na ayo nyubani. So that's why now, hapa bibili inasema, nazimu uwe na imani. Na kitu ingine, you should not be doubting God. That's why Jesus is answering his disciples that, I say unto you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even you say to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea. Uh -huh. uh, verse 22 in Asema. Uh -huh. It will uh, be taken up and thrown into the sea. And it will happen now. Verse 22 in Asema. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive it if you have faith. It is that simple. That whatever you ask in prayer. So if you have faith. It is guaranteed. It is 100% sure that when you have faith and you go to God to ask for something, the Bible says that and whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive it. So, uh, number one, so we, to, uh, to myself, that effective prayer, when you have faith, it will give you exactly what you have prayed for. Bwana asifiwe sana. So, ukiyomba na imani, you will get result. That's why I'm saying the prayer that brings result, it is the prayer that is done in faith. It is combined with faith. Ama ni maombi ambayo ukiyoba, you have faith. Buwana asifiwe sana. So effective prayer, go hard in hard with faith. There is no way, in fact, if you don't want to talk about faith, don't talk about prayer. It is that simple. If you don't want to talk about faith, don't talk about prayer. But if you talk about prayer, automatically, automatically, lazima uonge kuhusu imani. You have to talk about faith. Why? Because the Bible says, he who comes unto me must believe all. He who goes to God must believe that he is there. He is. That is believing. You have faith. You have not seen him, but you have to believe. He is there, but he, 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 he rewards those who diligently seek him. Those who diligently seek him. So, you have to believe that God is there. So, faith. When we talk of prayer, faith. Lazima ukwena imani. So effective prayer go hand in hand with faith. That's why, uh -huh, that's why part A or verse 22 in Asema Ivo. And Jesus truly said, truly I say unto you, if you have faith. So there is no way you can pray if you don't have faith. I can, I can say that if you pray and sure you know you don't have faith, don't just pray. It is wasting of time. You are wasting your time. Uh, because how, 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 how will you believe that, that what you are praying for, God will answer and you don't have faith. So you are wasting your time. And that's why, you, that's why I say unto you, 
If you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to this victory. But even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. So faith inafanya mambo makubwa itendeke hata ambayo wewe mwenyewe huwezi tarajia na hata si kutarajia mambo ambayo wewe mna nguvu zako huwezi fanya bwana wetu asifiwe sana haleluya praise the lord and so uh, na, 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 part, uh, na verse 22 ina ndio imesema and whatever you ask in prayer you will receive if you have faith that means prayer gives us all that we ask for if we have faith. Simple as that. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Nataka, aha. In the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter number 6 and verse, ne, verse 10. Daniel chapter number 6 and verse number 10. The Bible says, When Daniel knew that the document was signed, <laughs> that is an LT version that I'm reading, and, and on, that is uh, amplified. Eh? When Daniel knew that the document was signed, he went into his house. That is, now in his roof chambers, his window were open to Jerusalem. So, Akaingia, he went into his house. He continued to get down on his knee three times a day, praying and giving thanks to his God. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, when things are difficult, pray. Simple as that. When things are difficult, pray. Unajua, na ukitaka kujua ya kwamba. Paul and Cyrus, siku moja wakashiko na wakawekwa kwa gereza. Bibine inasema ya kwamba. Ah, uh, usiku wa manane. They were praying and they were, they were praising the Lord. You know, when you pray, kuna mambo abayo inatendeka in the spiritual realm. Bwana asifiwe sana. Because when you are there, you send, uh, the prayers you send, you pray inafika kwenye wewe mwenye huwezi fika. Kwenye nguvu zako haziwezi fika. Na diyo maana, Biblia inasema ya kwamba, and God sent his word and healed them. It is not God who went. It is God who sent his word. And he healed them. Bwana asifiwe sana. So, God sent his word. Ikaeda kufanya vile, ageeda kufanya. Bwana asifiwe sana. Now, when it comes to prayer, when you pray, unapata maombi, ah, uh, ile mambo abayo ni magumu, iko bere zako. Unapata ya kwamba, yani uko hapa, Unaenda office furani Nairobi kuna interview unaenda kwanza unapiga magoti unaambia bwana bwana naomba unitengenezee jia nikifika pale bwana niwe na kibali so hauko kwa ofisi uko wapi uko hapa hujakoja ufike kwa ofisi so unapiga magoti hapa unaongea na bwana na unapoomba so unatuma maombi inaenda bere zako inakutangulia na Unapofika pale, unapata maombi yako, ia, ilianza kufanya kazi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unapofika, kama maombi yako ilikuwa na imani. Unapata ya kwamba, usapata kibali. Kire uliomba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kibali umepata Nairobi, na umeobea kayore. Kwa sababu gani? When you pray, a uh, prayer works. Prayer, when you combine prayer with faith, Haijalishi unaombea mtu akiwa wapi. Bwana asifiwe. Haijalishi jambo ambalo tunaliombea liko umbali kani ama inaonekana ni gumu aje. Mara mingi tunaomba kwa mambo ambayo tukiangalia na maswa yetu tunaona ya omba haiwezekani. Tukiona tutu tunaona apana hii haitawezekana. Lakini tunaweka imani yetu kwa mungu. Tunasema wata tuombe. Kwa sababu ya tuna, tunabia mbwana, tumekuja kwako kwa imani. Nikiakaria mimi naona haiwezekani. Nikiakaria kwa mfuko naona, ile kitu nilikuwa nataka. Pesa haita, haitoshi. Na hata nikitaka kusema itatosha. Itanichukua miaka kathadi o itose. 
Lakini una, una kosa kuona pesa, una kosa kuona kile uko nacho, unaweka imani. So unaenda kwa Bwana, unamwambia Bwana, nimekuja tu, nimekuja kwa imani. Ninataka Bwana unifungulie mlango kwa hili jambo na kuhusu ku, kupitia imani. Una, unayoomba, ukiomba na uko na imani, unapata Mungu amekuja kwako kwa haraka. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unapata ki, unapata ya kwamba kitu ulikuwa upata kwa miaka kumi ulikuwa upata kwa miaka tano ni kitu ungepata kwa miezi tano unapata ya kwamba within a week god has sorted you out hallelujah it is because you pray and you have faith bwana asifiwe sana so to effective prayer lazima ukue na imani hallelujah so the bible says kwenye tumese, tumesoma ya kwamba when daniel knew that the, 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 the document or another person says when Daniel knew that the decree has been made ya kwamba kusipatikana mtu mwingine abaya anaomba Mungu mwingine isipokuwa mfalme biblia inasema ya kwamba Daniel Daniel hakustuka hapana the bible says aliada kwa chupa chake cha juu na akafungua milango ya dirisha Ikiagaria Jerusalem. Jerusalem was uh, the place of God, was where the temple was. And so he knew in the temple, that's where we are, we, where our temple is. That's where we pray to our God. And he knew that if I pray uh, to facing uh, Jerusalem, where our, uh, the temple is, where our God is, he will hear me. Bwana asifiwe sana. So hakujari, hakujari. Na, 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 na vile mambo iko so imesemekana ime kusipatikana mtu anaomba ni kama saa haikuabiwe ni kama uh, kuabiwe ya kwamba kusipatikana mtu anakuja ana kanisa so tunaanza ku, tumezoea kukuja kanisa ku, kumtafuta Mungu so uh, unaanza kustuka na kushangaa na kushindwa kutakuwa aje so in the midst mambo ni magumu Biblia inasema ya kwamba Daniel yakaona imesemekana kusiabudiwe Mungu mwingine isipokuwa mfalme Daniel yakasema hapana it cannot happen it is not me Bwana asifiwe sana ai Daniel yakasema me I know God I know no one else Bwana asifiwe so mambo ni magumu but Daniel akaamua ya kwamba ataoba so I'm saying when things are difficult pray Bwana asifiwe sana when things are difficult wakati unaona mambo ni magumu kabisa ni kama sasa hakuna jia hakuna kabisa hakuna we omba piga magoti tafuta dakika kadhaa tafuta wana wa tafuta and, and by the way it is not how wrong you pray it is how well you pray bwana asifiwe sana provided your prayer iko na imani Ukuja upiga magoti upate dakika ishirini. ukuja upiga magoti wabia bwana bwana nataka tu unitabelee kwa hili jambo lazima mungu he will come through for you bwana asifiwe sana so daniel akiaga kuendelea guoya bwana asifiwe sana akajua hata kama mambo ni magumu imesemekana kusipatikane akasema no nie ndio iko hatu nitaki i am no praying mimi nimejifunza kuomba na kwa hivyo hata kwa hii bado mimi nitaomba bwana asifiwe sana wadhani ya roho suo so we pray to our god in the in, no matter how difficult situation is the bible says and daniel he went up into the upper room and he continued to pray he opened his windows facing jerusalem so no matter how things no matter what it has been declared he knew that there is another decree because a declaration is cancelled by another declaration bwana asifiwe a declaration is cancelled by another declaration. Akajua, mfalme amesema ya kwamba kusipatikana mtu mwingine anaomba mungu, mungu mwingine ila yeye. Yeye na yeye akasema, "Oh, that's the declaration. Kwanza it was being signed." So when he knew that it was declared, then he na yeye akaamua and I will declare more. Bwana asifiwe sana. He went to declare with the one who is above the king. Bwana asifiwe sana because a declaration is cancelled by another declaration. So the king declared no 
man. But Daniel stood and said, Yes, I will still pray to my God. Amen. So he went up into the house, the, in the upper room. Buana asifiwe. So that is a, a that is a sign that sometimes set a place for prayer. Buana asifiwe sana. Kuwa na mahali specific, even in your house. Na na kuwa na a a tunasemanga a corner, a a a place whereby unaweza enda ukisikia mambo unajua unaweza kuwa uh, umesikia mambo imetangazwa haiko mazuri si mazuri na, na ni saa sita ya usiku uone hutaweza kufika kanisani but ukiwa na alta kwako kuna mahali umetenga ya kuomba utakibia hapo unawambia bwana bwana imetangazwa hivi na mimi nimekuja kutangaza hivi bwana asifiwe sana so daniel he knew that it has been declared that no one will pray or will worship any other God. And he knew, I know only God, and I will worship him. So it does not matter what has been declared. Akaongeza bidi kwa maombi. Wana asifiwe sana. Then, prayer, aha, nimesema pointikini hapa nasema, when it is hard to pray, pray. Wana esu asifiwe sana. When it is hard to pray, just pray. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua kama Danieli akiangalia aone na ni kweli uguo moiga. Ati makuti kono wa mudu ulehoyaga. Ni kama vile wakati wa kafiu. Unajua kafiu tulituliabiwa kutoka 6 to 7 kutipatikana mtu nje. Na na hata ukepatikana nje wewe ukiona saa moja imefika Wana kani wa unawazo ama umevuja sheria. So ulikuwa unahama, unakibia, unatoroka. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu ime, it has been declared. Unaona, hey, ni kumekua kugumu. Sasa ukisikia ya kwamba, kumeabiwa kusipatikana mtu wanaomba. Ukiagali unasema ni ueli. We, yu maombi siendi. E, unasikia venye kumesema wani. Nina kipatana na, 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 na wawo wakikuja kututafuta. We, sitaenda. Lakini Danieli hakustuka. Akasema, <laughs> that's what they have said, eh. Okay, how many times were I praying? Akaogeza BD. That's why the Bible says <laughs> he continued to get down on his knee three times a day. Praying and giving thanks to God as he was doing previously. So nothing stopped Daniel from praying. Bwana asifiwe sana. The, the decree that was declared did not stop Daniel from praying. And so, uh, prayer should be our lifestyle. I will conclude by saying that. Prayer should be our lifestyle. Why? Because Daniel, you know, most of the times, yani, wakati unaona kumeharibika, Time ya nye umesota kabisa. Yani hauna kazi. Hauna ata ginya kefao. Yani hauna ata ten shillings. That's why you can call God. Apana. Wata ni kue. Hakuna kitu muzuri kama. Imagine. Dio ata ni wana abia mtu mwingine. Hakuna maobitamu kama. Wakati unasikia uko na thao mbili ama thao tatu kwa mfuko. Hujazipangia na unakuja kulala hapa kwa frau kioba mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mungu anaona sio shida imekuleta. Umekuja kwa sababu unampenda. Na na na, na Daniel when the decree was made, Daniel did not start praying at that time. Daniel alikuwa ameanza kuomba, alikuwa anaomba, alikuwa anaendelea, alikuwa amezoea kuomba. So that was his lifestyle. Bwana asifiwe sana. And so Ata mambo ikitangazwa, Daniel knew, Aha, I, I have the higher power. When I when they declare, I will also declare. Bwana asifiwe sana. When they sign a decree, I will also sign a decree with my God. Because to me, Juana na ye, we have worked with him to me, Kua na ye. So, Daniel, he continues to kneel down. He three times a day, praying and giving thanks. Imagine, imagine. Anaomba na kisukuru. Kumetangazwa kusipatikane mungu. Mungu mwikine. Anaabudiwa. Ye anaede kuwabia mungu ni asanti. Buwana ni asanti. Imagine anaomba akimusukuru. As, his, as 
it was his all it was his lifestyle as he was doing before bwana asifiwe sana so let us pray always or let us make prayer our lifestyle bwana wetu asifiwe sana in the book of uh, Psalms chapter 18 verse 6 i will finish with that scripture uh, Psalms chapter 18 and verse number 6 the bible says in my distress i called upon the lord that is praying bwana wetu asifiwe sana in my distress don't allow yourself to remain silent to stay there David is saying, in my distress, I called upon the Lord. I cried to God for help. Guy, okatuo deidie. He cried to God. Yani, mungu kuta tu nisaidie. And God had him. I like that verse. And God was attentive to his prayer. Bwana asifiwe sana. So, no matter what we are going through, let us pray. God is ready to answer us. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. So, no matter how things are, let us pray. There is something that I normally say. <laughs> that prayer helps a prayer before the one who is being prayed for. Yani, ukisimama, Uombe watu. Uombe jamii. Before mungu wafanyie kazi awatende, anaanza na wewe. Wewe unaanza kukulia chenye umeomba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ya kwamba, asiwa kematana soke liyo mahoya. Wewe maombi yako inajibiwa kwanza. Why? Kwa sababu, wewe ni wewe unaomba wa kwanza. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. So, when you see results in others, Mungu atakuwa amesha jibu maombi yako. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Prayer moves the hand that moves the world. Uh -huh. When you pray, you move the hand that moves the world. The world is only moved by one hand. Which hand? The hand of God. So when you, you pray, your prayer moves the hand. The hand that moves the world and that hand is the hand of God. And remember, it is only the, heart, the, the prayer that is done in faith without doubting and only guided by the Holy Spirit. So, Bwana awabariki sana. Let us, uh, let us continue praying even in the remaining days and even after the 21 days. Tuendere kuomba kwa sababu tunajua ya kuomba kuna mungu akojubi guni anatusikia. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Na kwa wakati huu nataka kumkaribisha na wachea ready na ili akuje atumalizie na Bwana atubariki sana. Karibu sana chia ready na Bwana atatubariki. Welcome so much. Tumchangie makofi mzuri Amen, amen Kubarikue sana Our brother Patrick Kwa sababi ya neno mzuri, neno la wakati Neno abalo limetutia nguvu Wakati utunapoendelea na maombi Na mungu wa kubariki sana Na mungu wa kuongeze neema Pia nyinyi wote Abo mmehudhuria lancha wa yetu Mungu wa wabariki Mungu wa watede mema Na mwedele kuja ata kesho na kesho kutwa. Pia watu wa online asanteni sana kwa kuwa hapo mbarikiwe sana. Na kwa sababu mama wetu wako hapa mama bishop. Ningependa nimpe hiyo nafasi atumalizie kwa maobi katika jina la yesu. Amen. Tumchangie makofi anapo kuzi. Na tusima mebeza bwana. Binguni na mungu wetu Tuali aishi mjina lako Adhuhuli hii ya leo Kwa kutunenea buwana wetu Na kuinua imani yetu Mali tumefifia buwana juu ya maombi Mali buwana tunaopa na kuchukua Mizigo malatena utusamehe 
ili bwana tukiacha mizigo yetu na mambo yetu mbele zako yanayotusumbua mungu wa rehema tukiacha mikononi mwako tunakuwa huru jina lako libarikiwe jina lako litukuzwe nataka kumbarikisha mnanaji wa neno mbele zako ukamuinue pamoja na familia yake wema wako ukamuongoze fadhili zako zikawe juu yake bwana wa rehema ukabariki bwana kanisa la anjawa na neema yako bwana ikafuatana na watu hawa wako Mungu wetu na baba wetu neno lako likawe na mahali ndani ya mioyo yetu likatufanyie kazi Mungu wa rehema kila siku bwana wa mbinguni tunapokutanika mahali hapa tutitoke bule bali neno lako likatuelekeze likituongoza na kuponya mioyo yetu na kuinua roho zetu siku hizi za mwisho bwana utusaidie na ukatuongoze na tumekuomba na tukuamini katika jina la Kristo Yesu mwana wa Mungu tumeomba na kuamini amen Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now for the following amen